Hey guys, this is Lisa, Lisa and BSG. I am not sure in which order these videos are going to go up. So, depending on which order you watch them in, it might not make sense. Um, I'm just going to start with the numbers. Uh, I started my journey in July 27th, so I'm almost a year out. 2012, at 261 pounds. I am, as of this morning, before I went to the gym, I was 158 pounds. I have been so proud and so amazed at what I've been able to do and accomplish and in the year that I've been given um, so far and just want to uh, thank everybody for your encouragement, your love, and I appreciate all of you. Um, I think my other video went up first, so it was a rant video, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, just really quickly before I go into that, uh, I did mention in there I did go into the ER, I did collapse, and ended up needing to go to the um, emergency room. And they did find out that my gallbladder is uh, full of stones from one end to the other. So I called my bariatric surgeon, told him what was going on. He said he wouldn't remove it unless it was an emergency. Unfortunately, he's not here anymore. He's in Eureka, California. Um, I told him that I was going to be seeing a surgeon here. I told him who it was, and he, said, he agreed that that was a good idea. I have seen that surgeon and he has sent me in for some more tests and ultrasounds and uh, it looks like I'll probably undergo surgery here in the next few weeks. Uh, not thrilled. Not happy about that. Scared. Cringing because I got told I couldn't work out afterwards. So no. For a while anyway. Um, so if anybody's had their gallbladder out, I know Tom, Philly Tomcat, you have. Um, I am worried about dumping syndrome. I was reading online that that can be one of the things that happens. I have not had or experienced that since I've had the sleep. Um, so I'm scared. Uh, my fitness is great. Um, you know, three or four days a week, I'm out there running, and I just started doing weightlifting so I can fix that. Anyway, and uh, so I'm still shrinking. Um, my, my scale's been pretty consistent. I don't want to say I'm in maintenance yet because, like I said, I want to lose about 18 more pounds. Um, I would like to be 145, 155. That's where I'm comfortable. Uh, ran into a friend of mine, at the, or a, a surgeon at the hospital who I um, am comfortable with talking to, who is a plastic surgeon, and um, I've seen a lot of his work. And uh, he told me I have about five to seven pounds of uh, extra skin. So I have to take that in consideration when I'm on that scale. Um, the scale is evil for me. I let it rule my life too much and I'm not going to anymore uh, once a week. All I'm going to do because right now I'm religious about stepping on it every morning. Um, so I just want to um, also put out there my rant video about newbies and the questions we're getting. Um, Here's some websites and some people that I think you should definitely look into if you're not already following them. Um, they've been my inspiration. They're my go-to people when I need um, to get down that direction again, when I get off track. And uh, so I'm just going to throw the names out there. And that's going to be, um, first and foremost, Banded Wendy. Um, she is the founder of Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. Um, Gastric Rose, Amy S D Mom, Pinkfish Lily, and Philly Tomcat. Those are the people that when I need motivation or I have questions, they're gonna be there and they're gonna be honest. They're gonna, you know, tell me what I need to hear, not what I want to hear. Uh, you know, depending on whose story you follow, those gals and gentlemen have are, you know four to ten years out um, you know the other person to watch I, I mean I remember her name gastric rose when you're getting 
tired of your diet, go on her, her, her channel. She makes some outstanding food and I have used her recipes. Um, so I guess I wanted to list some people that you guys could go to to try to help you with your journeys and um, listen to what they have to say and you will be successful. I thank them so much from the bottom of my heart because we don't have a big community where I live. It's still a lot of farm country and we don't have a lot of great support groups and they've been my support, they've been my outreach and I appreciate them so much. So they're definitely some people to look into. Um, Anyway, I just wanted to do an update on me personally because my other video kind of went out of control and turned into like this. And uh, it's not what it was meant to be. Um, other than that, life is good. I am feeling great. Uh, getting my water, my protein, and my vitamins in and, you know, trying to up my fitness. I challenge myself on a daily basis. Uh, sometimes to the point where I kind of get myself into some trouble. Um, I compete with the treadmill, guys. I don't know if any of you else do that, but every day I want to shave a few seconds off my time and go a little further. And um, I am having some leg pain. Uh, I had a vein blow in my leg, which uh, they wanted to remove. But it's not dire, and I don't need to have it done right now. So I just have to wrap that vein that it's on my calf. Um, until I decide to have that done. I just need to really get the gallbladder taken care of first and foremost since um, the ultrasound tech who did my uh, ultrasound uh, was like, oh my gosh, this is horrible. So I have a feeling that the surgeon when I see him in a few weeks is going to be like, out it comes. So anyway, uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to say, because I didn't want to leave it as a negative, um, negative day. Um, I try not to be like that. Like I said in my last video, it's uh, sometimes disheartening to see some of the questions and comments and videos that we're getting on all the sites. Because uh, even though I'm not making videos right now and I haven't for a while, I still watch um, every day and. I try to um, message people when I feel I can help. Um, like I said in my last video, I'm not perfect, and I don't think any of us are. Um, but you have to uh, you have to try, guys, and you have to uh, put your best foot forward and get out there, even when you don't. You know, I'm not saying work out to the point where you're sick. I'm not saying that you have to. Um, be right on it every day, because I'm not. Uh, I work at a hospital. We eat terribly. Uh, but I have to make better choices every day. So, anyway, that's all I wanted to say. And I'll talk to you guys later. And those for, of you who just had surgery, um, I'm excited for you. And I can't wait to see you guys post some new videos. So, I will talk to you soon. Bye.